Jasmine Garcia. I'm from Denver. And when I first started to be wanting to become a teacher was, I would say, my freshman year in high school. I work at the Advantage Learning Center, and I've been here for almost a year, and I'm teaching three to four year olds. I graduated from DSA in 2012 and then I went to school at the University of Northern Colorado in Greeley and I went there for two years and then I decided I wanted to come back to Denver because in Greeley it was just, I was away from home and I, don't know, I just kind of wanted to come back to, to Denver. I'm doing what I'm going to school for is, you know, I'm pretty much here, I'm teaching, I set up my own lesson plans, I figure out what themes I want to do, and I base like math, English, science, I base that all within my theme that I'm doing. So I really like it here because we have our freedom to do, you know, pretty much whatever we would want to do with the kids. and. It's good practice for me it's for when I graduate and actually go into the teaching field. So you matched all of them. Look, you have that dinosaur. Well, I like teaching the kids and like seeing them, get, you know, learn something and how to write their name. Like I started um, doing like a template where they write their name. And so right now they're trying to learn how to write it and once they know like how to do the letter A, then they'll be so happy and I'm just like, oh, like, that's so good. Like just to see that they recognize that they did it all on their own. Right now at the moment, most of the teachers entering into education in the urban setting have very little experience with students, young people, parents of different cultures. And that's what I think the center does. A person needs to come to the center. And the, I mean, it's open to everyone. But I think a person needs to be open to learning. Open to the experience. Open to something that is new and is outside of their realm. It takes a person who is willing to learn and willing to expand. Expand mentally, expand emotionally and culturally, and then able to engage their own because it's experiential. It's not just four years of, of learning through the book. It is learn, experience, experience, learn. It's a circle. When we talk about circle, it's that whole circle that goes around. Jasmine is a superstar. I, I do believe that in watching her and seeing how she interacts with the children, you know, redirecting when they get upset, but also doing it in a very firm, compassionate, positive way, is, is something that some people never learn. It is within. I think she's very intuitive. Very soft, knows how to uh, read and get the, the children involved in reading. Lots of interaction. Lots of it, engagement, a lot, but yet very direct. A giant squid, and I'm big. My classes help me at work, and work helps me at school. So they both work together, hand in hand, which I really, really enjoy. I like that we're able to go to work in the mornings and then have school later in the day. So, and I also like how when I take my classes, I can incorporate it into my classroom. So if we're in my class, if we're learning about how to like manage a classroom and how to cooperate with um, parents and students, and I like to take that from my class and then to incorporate it into my classroom at work. So I really like, I like how it both ties in together, work and school. Then this grab. 
crab. Yeah. Is I'm bigger than that jellyfish.